What's going on guys? I uh, just wanted to come here and talk to you a little bit about um, performance, diets, and uh, your body type and uh, setting everything up so you're able to perform at your best. Um, and that, that really comes down to kind of what Dave Tate talked about the other day on his uh, YouTube video. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go watch it. I think it was about weight. Uh, picking the right weight class or something of that nature and uh, he talks about whether or not you're defining powerlifting as a hobby where you're just going to have fun and uh, in that case just kind of do whatever you want and enjoy it and have fun but if you're kind of defining it as a sport something that you want to be the best at then you really need to kind of clarify your goals and make sure that your actions meet your goals so if you're taking it as a sport and you're taking it to be the best you can you have to take into consideration that you may not always look the way you want to look um you see a lot of the top guys that are really lean in their in their uh, respective weight classes um a lot of those guys started off really lean they're they're what we call ectomorphs or or mesomorphs meaning that they are able to maintain uh, leanness while putting on size or always have a relatively lean physique. Um, if you're an endomorph, much like myself, anytime you get lean, uh, things start to suffer as far as strength, as far as recovery, as far as all those things go. So being leaner isn't always the greatest um, when it comes to uh, being an endomorph for that type, uh, that body type. Same with being an ectomorph. Like, it's not always the best thing to eat super clean all the time and do those type of things. Sometimes it's better to just pack in the calories and get as big as you can. Uh, the biggest thing when it comes to lifting heavy weights is eating lots of food. Um, if you're not willing to make that sacrifice, being a little bit chubbier, being a little bit fluffier, um, then you're going to suffer. Your, your lifts are going to suffer and you're, you're going to not be able to perform at your best. So if, if you want to look a certain way, and think that you're going to be super strong doing that um, without any type of sacrifice even with drugs you're you're mistaken um being lean and being uh somewhat looking like a bodybuilder at all times is not the sport of powerlifting if you want to do that do bodybuilding if you care so much about how you look put yourself up to their standards and uh perform like that if not um like I said, you're more of a hobbyist in the sport, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna be that good. You're not gonna crack the top ten um, unless you're genetically disposed to being a lean person. So, making sure your diet and your um, performance equate to your actual goals is huge. And the only way to do that is to define your goals very, very specifically. Uh, if you want to be the best at your weight class. Or if you just want to be the strongest human being you can be, you need to eat lots of food. Um, also in Dave's video, he says a lot of people blame genetics. Um, if you never give yourself a chance to reach your true genetic potential, then how do you know your genetics suck? You know, if you're always trying to eat and then, you know, you gain five pounds, you're like, oh, well, my lower abs are starting to get flabby. So then you do 20, 30 minutes of cardio after your workout and then you reduce calories you're never going to make it. You're never going to be great at powerlifting. You're never going to be great at strength athletics. If you talk to any of the guys that are lean, that do the sport and excel, they eat a crap ton of food. They are just hap They just happen to have the genetics to get away with it. So if you're willing to make that sacrifice and eat how they eat, and knowing that you don't have those genetics, but you can still get just as strong as them, you just may not look as good as them, then pursue that with everything you have because that's what's going to set you up to be the greatest you can be at the sport that you want to be great at so if you think you're going to be able to do everything um and not have the genetics to do it then you're going to be hitting a lot of bad days and you're not going to get to where you want to be so clearly define your goal set your diet and nutrition up to meet your goal and if your goal is to be the best at a given sport, do whatever it takes to get to that goal. Um, if not, you know, if you just want to be mediocre, that's fine. There's a place for you. There's, it's called, it's called weekend warriors. It's called being a hobbyist. It's called you just do it for fun. 
keep doing it for fun, but don't come up to your coaches after two months crying about how everyone else is getting stronger. That takes it a little more seriously than you. So define your goals, set everything up so you can meet your goals, and then just attack them with 100% conviction and you'll reach the top. Guaranteed, guys. Until next time, take care.